Go. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to say a very big thank you to all of you that have been subscribing to my channel. I want to say thank you so much for subscribing. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to cut a gown. I'm actually going to be making use of this fabric. It's a, it's a long bell gown. That's what I'm going to be teaching you how to cut. First, we'll start with the upper part of the gown. I'm going to be making it a, a, a princess cut dress top. That is what I'm going to be doing. So, now let's start. This is my shoulder line. So I folded my fabric into two. I'm making use of 17 inches. You can make use of 15. It depends on the boss. So it depends on the boss. So now I'm going to be measuring the, her breast point. Her breast point is actually 11. Then her under bust is 15. That is 11, 15. I'm going to be adding 2 inch for my allowance. So her shoulder is 17. You divide 17 into 2. That's 8 and a half. I'll add 2 inches for my allowance. Which I'm just measuring it. It's not like I really need it now. After cutting, that's when I'm going to measure it out properly. So for the the middle part of the breast cut is those breast cuts that normally comes from up. That's what I'm cutting, the one that comes from up. So I'm gonna be making use of eight inches, which is sixteen. Which is sixteen. That's what I'm gonna be making use of for the up part. Then for this down part. I'll make use of five. So I'm, I'm going to be joining my lines together. Measure six inches. Six inches from here. So now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be make, drawing it like this down to form my curve down here. Here is going to end in, with two inch. So this is where I'm coming to. not sharp you have to put your artist skills to work here mm -hmm. see what I did now so now I'm going to be cutting off before I make So now I want to measure, take out my measurement now. So I'll take this piece and place it on top like this, as you can see. So now 
I'm, I want to measure my actual body measurement. Like I told you, Nisha, I said her shoulder is 16. Sorry, 17. It, that's 8 and a half. So 9 inches. I use 2 inches as my allowance. From here, I'll measure my ankle. I'm going to be making use of 9. Then her bust is 47. 47 divided by 4. That is 11. It's not to 12. I use 2 inch. Her under bust is 35. 35 divided by 4. Not to nine. So for the down part, I add three inches. That's my allowance. So I turn. There's nothing really much here, so I'm just going to trim it like this. It's time for me to cut off this part. So after sewing, after coupling, after coupling, I now take it now to my machine. Before then, I'll use this now to cut out the back part. To cut out the back part. Okay. So you place your fabric, the front part, this is the middle part. You place it here, you extend because you are going to be needing allowance. I'm going to be using one and a half inch for my allowance. Yeah. It's accurate. I bring this part for the back. I'm just, I'm just going to be doing normal princess that for it. So I'll cut off now. Maybe in my next video, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually join and measure, get out the measurements. So this is how I get my cut for the back. This is the zip allowance with my chalk. From here, I'm going to be using eight inches. Yeah. Just take it like this, through here, down here, to this point. So I use my little roller. <coughs> there we go, this is the box. And this is the front. Then this back, you cut it. You are going to be cutting it open because of the zip. So this is 
the back and this is the front so now i'm going to be heading up to my machine to to cut the lining to gum it to gum on it and the part the chest part you can check out another of my video on how to actually pad your your breast coat i have a video i'm going to put the card up so you click on it to see if you want to know how to pad so you have a very good cup so i'm gonna be coming back to show you more welcome back people as you can see i finished making the upper part of the the gown this is the bust i finished shipping the armpits and i've gotten my half cut measurement so what i'm gonna be doing now it is a gown that has it's a ball gown it actually has a a band on it so i'm gonna be cutting the band now a four inch band i'm gonna be making use of three inch why i'm cutting four inches because of the stitch allowance so i'll make it four inch and it's going to be the length is going to be 20 inch so i'm going to cut that then before i cut the full length of the gown i'll fold my fabric Okay, I actually have 23 inch. No problem, it's okay. So I'll fold like this. I'm going to be making use of 3 inch, but I'll make it 4. can see so I'll cut it off the next thing what I'm gonna be doing now is I'll take it to my pressing table my ironing table I'll iron on this reverse side. I'll iron my gum stay, or you can use hair stay, my gum stay or hair stay on it so for it to have a, a, a firm, for it to be firm. I'll iron it on it, then I'll fold and trim. I'll fold and trim. This kind of band, you can actually fix it in two ways. You can decide to fix it around without cutting but most times i normally advise you to cut why because of this part in case this part is is not tight on the person you can easily adjust it but if it's a round band you cannot adjust it if if, it, if it's loose there's nothing you can do about it but when you break your band like this you cut it from here then the back you cut at the end of the day, if the dress does not have fitting, you can easily adjust and it will be perfect. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's after ironing. So now I have my band. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the full length of the of my gown. I'm actually going to be making use of the entire length of the the, the, the fabric that's what I'm going to be doing I'll make use of the full length I'm going to be is a gathered is a slightly gathered is a slightly gathered gown so I'm gonna be measuring three yards out. I'm 
actually going to be checking to see how full it will be. If it's not full enough, I can add to the three yards or I can reduce. I think it's okay. So I'm going to be cutting. Actually, what I'm gonna be using for the down part. Like I told you, I said I'm gonna be making use of the entire length because her height is 16, 63. So I'll make use of a band of three inch. Okay guys, welcome back. As you can see, this is the gun. I fixed the down part of it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be cutting the sleeve. That is what I'm going to be doing. So this is for my leftover fabrics. The kind of sleeve I'm cutting is a two, is a double sleeve. It's like it has a upper part that is from here to from the shoulder to the mid hand. Then it has another layer that is true. So first I'm gonna be cutting this upper part, making use of my normal basic sleeve pattern. I think I have okay. Yeah. Uh, let me see if this is going to be enough because I don't want to waste the fabric so before I start I'll measure what I have here So I have 10, but I'm going to be making it the top part, maybe the round, the up part of the sleeve. I'm going to be making it like 14. The half part of her sleeve from here to here is 10. 10 from the shoulder to the mid hand is 10 inches. So I'm going to be making 10 inches. Then for the round, that is for this upper part, that is for the armhole. And what I measured here was 10. I'm going to make it 13 or 14 because it's going to have some just tiny little plates on it. So I'll measure my 10 inch. Most times I normally put these 2 inches as my allowance. This is how I normally do. I'll draft the sleeve pattern, the hand pull pattern, then before I measure. Like for beginners, you can really do this. You can try it when you measure. If it's if it is not enough, you know you have gone up before your fabric. What I have here is 11 and a half. So that means it's not enough. So I'll fold it more, increase it, and then see. I have 12. This 
you have a sleeve pattern you can just make use of it instead of stressing yourself I have 12 and a half I want 13 like I said so I've got my 13 now then have round that's the sleeve, the mid sleeve round is 15 so that is 7 and a half this is 7 and a half I'll add like 1 and a half inch to allowance on it so this was this is my line so what I'm going to be doing now can watch other of my videos on sleeve on sleeve patterns so now I'll use this now to cut the second sleeve you place it on it like this So next, I'm going to be cutting the down part of this hand. It is, this sleeve is like a bell sleeve, but it's not a bell sleeve. So it's a different sleeve pattern. So let me show you. You fold your, your fabrics like this. You see what I did? It's like a triangle. Because the sleeve, this part will be longer than this part. It is not a flare. So that's why I did it like this. It's not like a full flare, it's like a 90 degree flare. So, I'll take this part. Like this. See this part, this, this is the longer part. This is 18 inches. I'm going to be reducing it. This is 18 inches. This part, this is 12. So, You see the way the sleeve is. At the end of the day, it's going to be like this. After sewing, I'll bring it back so you, you can see. So with this now, I'll cut the second one for the second sleeve. So I'll see you back at the end. Once I finish coupling the sleeve to the dress, I'll bring it and show you the finished product. 